While you were watching sharks feast on adorable sea animals, we were compiling the latest and greatest stories from around the tennis world. Hey tennis fans, I'm Blair Henley and welcome to the Tennis Now News Update. We know Shark Week tends to be a bit of a distraction, but there was plenty of news on the tennis front over the weekend. Juan Martin Del Potro won his 15th career title at the City Open, beating fellow giant John Isner in three sets. Despite a slow start, Delpo's trademark laser-like forehand was on full display. This ATV hot shot will show you exactly what I mean. Sam Stoser also won a title this weekend, her first since winning the U.S. Open in 2011, beating Victoria Azarenka in Carlsbad for the first time in nine tries. While she celebrated with a little water slide action, Azarenka pulled out of Toronto with a back injury. Anna Ivanovic has been keeping herself busy lately. Yes, occasionally she wins some tennis matches, but she's also posed for Latin American Esquire as well as some promotional shoots for Rolex. Must be nice to be multi-talented. The 15th ranked Serb is scheduled to play in Toronto this week. Fresh off her relationship with Superman actor Henry Cavill, Big Bang Theory star Kaylee Cuoco was spotted over the weekend hanging out with what tabloid site Just Jared was originally calling a shirtless mystery man. Well, that mystery man just happened to be world number 518 Ryan Sweeting. While the matchup may seem like a 10 on the randomness scale, Cuoco is an ex-tennis player herself, and she's also good friends with the Bryan brothers. We do know one thing for sure, if Cuoco starts showing up at ITF Challengers, it will be the most exciting thing to happen to the minor leagues of tennis since Red Foo. The Forbes list of the highest paid female athletes has been released, and let's just say, it pays to be a tennis player. The top four spots go to Maria Sharapova, Serena Williams, Lee Na, and Victoria Azarenka respectively. Caroline Wozniacki is number seven, followed by Agnieszka Radwanska and Anna Ivanovic. Novak Djokovic is in Canada for the Rogers Cup, and lucky for us, he must have known there was a market for tennis players imitating biblical figures. Keep in mind this video was shot after he did sprints while carrying his coach on his back. People! People! Flood is coming! Board on my arc! Board now! Or go with the flood, I guess. Follow me. Mark your calendars, Roger Federer turns 32 on August 8th. Tennisspace.com is reporting that if Del Potro or Burdich were to win the title in Montreal, they could overtake Federer, who is currently sitting at number five in the rankings. Things could look even worse for Federer if he fails to defend the points he received after winning in Cincinnati last year. Are we ready for a seven-seated Fed come US Open time? Speaking of the US Open, the New York Post is reporting that the musical stylings of Lenny Kravitz will help kick things off on opening night. Cannot wait. That's all for today's Tennis Now news update. Are Cuoco and Sweeting a match made in tennis heaven? Will Roger pull his game together in Cincinnati? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see when we post new content. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.